Hey YouTube. So this is just going to be um, an update on my sleep apnea. So if you don't care to hear an update, then you don't have to watch the video. Um, so I'm going to make it super quick. So I'm four to five months in to treatment with my ASV. Overall, I do like it. However, it's not treating my sleep onsets whatsoever. Um, well, I think that it keeps me from being in it in an apnea too long, but it's not um, catching them fast enough so that they don't happen, I guess. Um, I'm still gasping awake, um, several times before I fall asleep. For an example, the other night I had 19 episodes in 21 minutes. That sucks. Um, I recently saw my sleep doctor and I told her that I was feeling really distressed and kind of hopeless. And she said, that I should probably talk to a counselor about it. And I agree that's probably the thing to do. However, it, it just sucks that like, that's what she, that's her advice. Like there's nothing more we can do or try really. Um, this is just the way it is. And I kind of just have to figure out how I'm going to, you know, keep going with this condition. Um, so I, w I will be doing that. I, I think that's important because it is a big diagnosis. It is a big lifestyle change, even though it's been a year with the machine. You know, when I first um, got on the machine, it was a lot of like survival mode and um, numbers and AHI. And, um, and then I switched machines, obviously. And now it's a way of life and I'm going to have to be able to cope as best as I can. So that's really all I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to do the things that matter the most to me. Um, filling my life and my time with as much positivity and healthy interactions and thing as, as I can, as, as one, as you could, you know, there's still other things that go on and you have to deal with it. But, um, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. Because when nighttime rolls around, I need to be in as in a good place as much as possible to kind of fight this battle. And um, um, let's see. Um, she suggested I take medication again, which I'm not interested in at this point. And I know that some people might think, well, if you're everything's so miserable, then what have you got to lose? But, um, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not miserable enough to want to throw medication into the mix. My body never responds to medication well or the way it's supposed to. I took magnesium for two weeks, which is supposed to help with, you know, insomnia and any sleep condition. And it made my AHI go up and it increased my anxiety and made me feel pretty terrible. Um, <laughs> it's fucking magnesium, you know? So, um, and then I also saw my cardiologist and, um, it was just a follow up just to say like, yeah, your echo was great. All of the tests that we did were great. We're going to send you to an electrophysicist. Um, and she said the wait list is about six to nine months. Um, and they're also like a different city than me. They're like about an hour and a half drive, um, which is not a big deal, but it's a little inconvenient. Um, you know, I have two kids and it's just to go there and to meet them. But I am looking forward to that conversation. I am looking forward to moving forward with that. And um, even though I have been technically diagnosed, it would be, I think, helpful to go and talk to them and to find out what specifically what kind of SVT I have and um, to see what they have to say. And there is a surgery, but I don't think, not at this point anyway, I don't feel like I'm going to be doing the surgery. So anyway, that's sort of the update. Um, yeah, it's mostly just trying to hang in there and reading your guys' messages and comments has been really helpful and feeling less alone. Um, please keep leaving them and supporting each other. And, um, I hope to have a better update at some point. Um, otherwise I'm just going to keep doing my thing and, uh, I'm going to keep documenting it because it turns out that it's, um, not very heard of, which is crazy. It's crazy to be diagnosed with something that they don't really know. They're like, yeah, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know why you stop breathing at the point of sleep, but 
There's, you could try some magnesium. <laughs> try this machine. But in all seriousness, ASV is, is loads better than the CPAP. It definitely does shorten the apneas. And I if I get a good seal with it, there's, there's nothing I can't do the next day. I really, really do feel great on it. But it is not treating the sleep onsets specifically. So... If anything changes with that, I will come on here. Otherwise, I am probably, I'm going to try and film like a day in the life slash day in the night with sleep apnea. Um, just to show you kind of what I go through, what I, how I'm managing, um, how it affects me throughout the day, like that kind of stuff. And yeah, so keep an eye out for that. And otherwise, um, thank you to all my new subscribers. There's like five of you six of you I don't know but it's really good to have you here and people that have been commenting on my videos and liking them thank you so much um I really appreciate it and I will see you guys soon take care that was that was ridiculous bye bye